What's up everybody, we back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about five tips to make you a better point guard. All right, man, let's jump to it. So the very first thing I wanna tell y'all, when it comes down to actually playing point guard, effectively you want to make sure you're minimizing the use of your dribble moves man because i know for a fact that rock is always telling me dream why are you dribbling so much man you got to stop all the dribbling you're getting stopped you're also passing late and yes man he is definitely right that's one of my biggest flaws as a point guard i have a very hard time avoiding using my dribble moves especially against those really strong defenders that are constantly bumping you it is annoying man so when it comes down to this you definitely want to make sure you minimize the use of your dribble moves the reason for that is you can't pass while you're in the dribble move animation let's say for example you're running the camille off ball screen strategy if his defender is screened off while you're doing a dribble move by the time you pass to him it'll already be too late so make sure you keep that in mind dribble moves also come with the risk of losing the ball so avoid using them unless it's absolutely necessary definitely avoid using them if you're playing point guard man you got to get those uh, passes off on time i was playing against goat earlier he uh, one of the people was using nana the guy i was guarding he was using nana he was barely using any dribble moves he was barely shooting as well he was just passing to marcus man i'm assuming they were just going to take those shots with nana if they just so happened to get the opportunity so number two don't be afraid to handle the ball man i see a lot of point guards as soon as they touch the ball they just go ahead and pass it no uh, the person they're passing to not even open they're just getting rid of it and just walking around the court and hoping to get an assist off of that but that is not the proper way to play point guard man unless that is your strategy and talking about the pass back strategy man so don't be afraid to handle the ball that is definitely your job so the reason why is because you're harder to rip you're much faster and provide more bonus accuracy because point guards naturally have a higher pass stat than everyone else you want to move around the court preferably in the opposite direction of your teammates this will put more space between you and your teammate to make sure your defender cannot jump over there and pick them up man especially if you're getting guarded by another point guard think about people like albert with the right gear and the right assist characters more than 150 speed uh yui and nana and albert i think they're the only ones that can get that high up there when it comes down to the speed stat so make sure y'all keep that in mind as well man you want to make sure you got enough space between you and your teammates you don't want your defender going over there and picking him up man number three you want to have a strategy it is extremely difficult to play point guard with no strategy it creates complications when it comes to getting your teammates wide open there's a plethora of strategies you can choose from man you can do pick and roll you can do pass back you can do space the floor you can also do iso power forward or small forward dunker just to name a few an organized team is a good team if everyone is just running around waving their hands in the air while heavily contested it's going to be a bad match so don't put yourself in that situation man have a strategy use it and cook people so number four, when passing, you don't have to be walking toward the person you're passing to. You only have to be facing them. This is effective because you can't pass when you're getting bumped. I hate getting bumped, man. I hate it so much. I wish it wasn't a thing, but it does definitely balance out the game against those faster characters. Imagine going against Jessica and you can't bump her, man. Very bad game for you. When the ball is being passed to you, make sure you turn toward the person you want to pass to before you catch the ball. This way, if they're open, you avoid the risk of getting bumped, which gives your teammates defender time to mark them you don't want them to get marked man especially if they're a three-point shooter because those uh, disturbances at the three-point line are much worse than the ones inside the mid-range area so make sure y'all keep that in mind as well man uh, when you're facing them you don't have to touch your analog just hit the pass button man just make sure you are actually facing them and then hit the pass button you will pass to the person that you want to pass to it's also going to save you some time because you're avoiding the bump man you don't want to get bumped when you're playing point guard that is quite literally one of the worst things that can happen to you so <laughs> because because it's going to make your passes a little bit later so the speed at which you get the ball to your teammates uh, while they're wide open is very important so make sure you keep that in mind you want to make sure you're getting the ball to them while they are wide open man i can't um stress this enough if you pass it too late they're gonna be contested once again that is one of my biggest flaws actually getting the ball over there on time so last and certainly not least man this is also one of my biggest issues. So I'm basically telling y'all my flaws and what I'm doing wrong that I see other players doing right that are in much higher elos. And this right here is probably my biggest 
flaw. So you don't want to spam pass based abilities just because you have them. For example, when I use May, I have a very bad habit of trying to go for layup passes or pinpoint passes. I'm running into the paint. My Vega setting screens for my shooter. I'm still running into the paint. My teammates defender gets screened off. I'm still trying to go into the paint, man, and get that layup pass off and give them 17% extra accuracy. But by the time I get in there and I do my layup pass to my teammate, he's already contested. So make sure y'all keep that in mind, man. You're running into the paint and you see your teammate get wide open. Forget about the layup pass. Just go ahead and hit him with a bounce pass, man. You will do just fine. Same thing with shot pass because the additional time it takes to pass the ball to your teammate gives their defender more time to mark them. Just go ahead and go for the bounce pass, man. Save that time and get free points. So, all right, man, let's just about cover everything. This isn't all you need to be a fantastic point guard, but these are the biggest flaws that I face, and I'm pretty sure this is the biggest flaw that a lot of other people face as well. And you want to make sure you're using all five of these tips in every single game. You can't just pick a few of these and use them. You got to make sure you're using all five of these tips. You'll do just fine. That's it. Now, catch y'all on the next one.